What's up, everyone? Um, I thought I would do kind of like a, a fire offering um, at my altar um, just to see maybe if I see any visions in the fire. Um, I grew up uh, with my father as being a chimney sweep, so fire was always a common thing in the house. Um, we had two, three actually, three, three fireplaces in my parents' house. So um, I'm gonna do this and give a little offering to, to the gods and chant a quick uh, mantra and we'll see what we get from it. This is the ding vessel that I'm using, um, and I'm going to pour some alcohol into it and give some offerings to it and see where we go. Okay. There we go. I'm going to drop some cinnamon to there. And some clove. That was clove and cinnamon. Mani Parama Hum Hum 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 Mani Parama Hum let me turn off the light real quick. See if I can get. I'm going to turn the light back on. So, what do we have in this fire? I feel that the coronavirus, this might be dealing with the coronavirus. I don't feel like it's over. I think that there's more at stake here. I think we have not seen the end of this, that it's going to be a terrible rebound that's going to occur. We're starting to see more of it happen. Like places are starting to see a rebound of the coronavirus. I think there's more deaths happening. I mentioned this earlier that <clears throat> on my Twitter and Facebook that um, I've noticed that I've seen spirits of ghosts and and uh other entities uh, floating in the sky. And it is as though they are trapped of some sort. They're, they're trapped um, in the sky and it's like they think that um, that's heaven, because it's like they're balloons, or, um, oh, balloons are kites in the sky, and that, uh, they are unable to, um, 
cross over. Um, I've noticed this a lot lately, where they just seem stuck, like they think it's heaven or something. I hate to be redundant again, but they're unable to figure out where to go or how to go or to cross over to the other side. It's like there's too many dead souls or dead people and too many souls that are trapped um, that they haven't had time to figure out which way to go or they haven't had time to adjust. And I always talk about this, the 49 day period where they need to figure out <clears throat> that they're either, that they're between two worlds, the physical and the spirit world or the dead world. And so you have so many deaths happening that somehow or some way they assumed that they would, um, they would, they would go to heaven, but they have this false sense of heaven, like they're in the clouds, you know? So I don't think this coronavirus thing is going to end very soon. I think we're just seeing the tip of the iceberg. I think we're going to see um, more cases of it. Um, and like I said, there's going to be a rebound of it. Um, as far as the immunity, um, I think we're still a long way off when it comes to a vaccination. Um, I think we'll try to find a vaccination, but I just don't think it, I don't see it happening. I really don't. Um, for a while, even these trial runs are, are off. Um, I think people talk about this light at the end of the tunnel, but for some reason, I feel like there's more to meet the eye that meets the eye. Um, we're going to see a lot more of, I don't know, it seems like corruption associated with this. Um, maybe even a war. Um, I don't know if... This idea of war is, because as I said in my post, China has always been a major superpower in the world. It has always been a major superpower. Um, and, and China, even at its lowest points, has proven to be you know, quite strong. I mean, when you think about the Silk Road and how much the Silk Road was, you know, the major form of commerce and how China dominated the market for like since the second century BCE to the 18th century CE, that there's more to meet the eye when it comes to this. Um, I think 
we're starting down a path that is unexpected that we're going to see more outbreaks of strange diseases and viruses that we didn't know existed and so they'll probably attempt to attach it on to certain habits that are considered I don't know um, unacceptable in a way like the idea that eating bats were um, the cause of the coronavirus which I'm not saying it wasn't but um, I think something similar to that is going to happen once again that we're going to experience a period where similar things like that are going to evolve and See alcohol burning off. I think the worst is yet to come. I don't think we're prepared for what's coming next. Um, could be another disease, maybe. Um, or a war of some type, but I'm not sure what kind of war, like a biological war. So it looks like the flame is dying. Yeah. I'm going to say a quick mantra, end the mantra. Om Mani Padma Hum. 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 Um, my Padma, um. I believe that is it. Anyways, that was my quick divination pyromancy. Um, like I said, I have been around um, fire pretty much for a large point in my life. Um, I have help my father put in wood burning fire stoves and I've built fires um, in the stoves and everything like that so I've always been attracted to fire um, even as a child so anyways that was my quick divination um, of pyromancy um, I know it has to deal with the coronavirus um, but that seems to be the the major topic um, of a lot of people's concerns and fears right now. So anyways, you guys have a nice night and I'll talk to you later. Bye.